Hey guys, it's your friend Joey, and I'm gonna tell you why Singaporean food is not as good as Malaysian food. Here we go. So one of my favorite things to eat is wonton noodles, and they're made differently in both Singapore and Malaysia. Now, for some reason in Singapore, I don't find their sauces deep in flavor or dark in color. Because in Malaysia, the sauce is like black. It's like such deep flavors that it's so delicious. I just find the Singapore wonton noodles just a little bland. I mean, the crispy pork and the barbecue pork is delicious, as always. As long as you do that right, I'm still gonna be happy. And also, my god, I remember that day was super hot, so I had to get some coffee. A little ice, long black, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I noticed? Coffee in Asia just isn't as strong as other places I've tried. For example, in Australia. And since it was so hot that day, I got this Hokkaido milk ice cream. And I know it's not Singaporean, but man, I just want to tell you, it was so good. And I don't normally eat ice cream or have dairy, but it was so worth me going to the toilet the next day. Mm, ice cream was just so thick and flavorful, but the coffee was just let down. Ugh. Now, I also went to try some fancy ass food in Marina Bay Sands, and it was actually not too bad. Like the porridge, I have to admit, this abalone and seafood porridge was exquisite. The flavor of that soup was to die for. Oh my God. And this pork dish, I don't remember what it was, but it was terrible oh but these crab balls oh they were fried they were crispy and they were so juicy but they were so hot oh my god i think i burned myself like every single time i took a bite oh, oh but was it worth it oh yes it was now the next morning i was a little hungry so i went to get some pork mince fishball noodles and it was delicious like i can't fault anything here like the auntie who made it for me definitely knows what she's doing but i felt like if i really tried very hard i could probably make the same thing at home like i'm not saying i'm a very good cook or a good cook in any way but you know what i mean when you can't cook something at home that you have to eat out that's what i feel with malaysian food but these dumplings that she handmade herself okay i couldn't definitely not do that at home the filling in the dumpling was such a good ratio that i just couldn't stop eating it now kaya toast and black coffee and soft boiled eggs i mean malaysia and singapore do the same i don't think you can find a difference but i really have to admit that singaporean kaya toast is much much better than malaysia's and don't even get me started on malaysian chicken rice being better it's way too good to even compare and now i know shake shack is not actually singapore but you know i just have to show you what i ate it's terrible by the way in singapore don't eat it there now the last thing i ate and I had time to eat was rice noodles that i had at the airport and it was actually not too bad the singaporean rice noodles there was a generous amount of prawns inside the rice noodles and the sauce the sauce was a little sweet for my taste but that's all right and i got this sour plum drink that i actually highly enjoy i recommend anyone getting that at the airport but no matter what i'm sorry to say this malaysian food is still better than singaporean food